didn't come from a dance background or anything like that, but dancing just makes me happy. It makes most people happy, and I really wasn't looking for a hardcore style workout, yeah. but I knew I needed to start moving, you yeah. know? And so, kind of like you, I stepped into my first class and I was like, what? Like, this is so right. fun. Like, <laughs> it was just the funnest way to get a workout in. Got my heart pumping, got me moving. It made me happy. And I was pretty much hooked from the very first class in. How long have you been doing it? Over 30 years now. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's not as if I haven't branched out and tried um, some other programs here and there. As I started working out more and more, I was like, oh, let me, you know, try some personal training or some okay. gym time or different things. And I did. But I never, ever stayed as consistent with anything as I did with Jazzer Size. It that just was always be drew my question. Right back in. Oh, why do you think that is? Because that was going to be my question to you. We yeah. always get, we're like, yes, new year, new beginning, yeah. new workout routines. Yeah. You don't stick with it. Right. And then you end up back where you were at the beginning of the year or whatever. What is it about Jazzer Size that really makes you want to stick with it and stick with this community? Yeah, it's a really good question. And I... Um, I would say for me, and I think for our customers too, it's really about the feeling that you get mm -hmm. when you're there. It never gets boring. I'd say it never gets boring, I, I guess. I can see like that. It's always fresh, it's always new. Um, we always have new music, new moves, new formats. You know, we mix it up quite a bit. Yeah. So I think it's just ever evolving and changing, and we just change and move with it. How did Jazzercise get started? Because it has been around, like you said, for 30 plus years. It's actually been around for 50 plus Holy years. Holy moly. I know. I've been doing it for 30 plus okay. years. So I don't know. A lot of people know the story, but some don't of Jazzercise. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. So the owner of Jazzercise is named um, Judy Shepard Missit. She's okay. from California, still in California. She was a dance instructor back in the day. And um, her story will tell you that she had a group of ladies that were like, you know, we want to look like you. We want to look like a dancer, but we don't know how to dance, you know. And so she she actually just developed on her own this uh, dance base cardio workout yeah. and started teaching classes to her friends, basically, in a dance studio is how it started. And um, it just really kind of evolved from there. She had friends that kind of came in and were like, we should make a business with this. And she did. And she has um, stuck with it for all of these years. And she now has her daughter involved in it, who is now the president of Jazzercise. Family business. Family Love business. that. And now the granddaughter, who is an instructor within the last couple of years. So it's three generations deep at this point and still running really strong. Yeah. Wait, I mentioned the community earlier. Yep. You have a community from the top down, I mean, just talking about the family business, you know, mm -hmm. her daughter, granddaughter mm -hmm. and stuff. But you have formed a community here in North Scottsdale yep. at your location. Talk to me about the women that come in each and every day to you and how you've gotten them to commit to you and to the to the Jazzercise community. Yeah, we just put the program out there for them and they're, they're drawn to it, again, just like I was. Um, it's the feel good. And then it becomes, you know, meeting their friends there every day. Yeah. So we have a smaller size studio. So we just have, we have almost 30 classes a week so we have different groups of people that kind of hang out together and they all love coming together um, and it's it's just their time I think they feel very comfortable being mm -hmm. with their friends and uh, just having a good time. So. Tell me a little bit about the classes that you all offer because you offer different levels each class is a little different yep. brings in a different kind of clientele based on what your needs and desires are. Yep yep we have a pretty wide range I would say although all the classes are very similar. Mm -hmm. They also have a little bit of a different vibe, each one. We have a lower impact style for people that um, just need more that level, you know, not yeah. quite as high intense of a level. Um, most of our classes are our traditional dance mix style class. It still tends to be our favorite. Yeah. Uh, but we do like to mix it up because it's good for our bodies too to mix it up. If you continuously just do the same thing day in and day out, your body will just get kind of still. Uh -huh. We want to shake it up a little bit. So we do some interval style training classes where you're going to get a lot of uh, high, low heart rate, you know, up, down movement. Um, and then we do a lot of strength exercises as well. We have some strength formats. Yeah, we did some weights. I was sore. Yes, yeah. Which have become, the strength classes have become more and more popular over the years. I yeah. think especially as we get older, we realize the need to, to keep our bodies strong. 
in that way. And the cardio is great too, but strength will provide cardio as well. Yeah. So we get, we get, we have some really good pump and strength style workouts. How many classes do you offer a day and week? So we have almost 30 classes a week on our schedule wow. right now. Um, from the dance mix classes to the strength classes to the interval classes and some fusion classes, which will do both cardio and strength together throughout okay. the class. So it gets the early morning crew. You know, we've got our mid morning, like 8.30, 9.30, and then our afternoon, not really evening, even though we call it evening, 5.30 p.m. Okay. is about as late as we offer right now. And then all of the weekend classes as okay. well. Yeah. You have uh, child care in we there? We offer child care. At this point, we have um, it on our schedule routinely on Saturday morning. Okay. Um, but then we have it as needed, um, kind of just per request, yeah. as people would need it if for any classes that they would want to come to. What made you, Sherry, jump from jazzercise enthusiast yes. to an owner of a jazzercise franchise? Yeah, that took a really <laughs> long time, and that's a really good question. I was, <laughs> a, I was obviously just like a committed jazzercise customer yeah. for many, many, many years and um, was approached over those years of often to become an instructor. And I just was like... I love it so much, but I don't want the responsibility of teaching the class. Like, yeah. I just need to come and de-stress. It's sort of my time, you know? And so I did that for a lot of years, and I said no for a lot of years <laughs> until about six years ago. Oh, I actually okay. just got certified to teach six years ago. That's not long at all. And it was just... Um, it was just a matter of timing. It was the time in my life where I felt like I had a little bit of extra time to devote to learning how to teach the class mm -hmm. rather than just participating in the class. And so I went through that journey of becoming an instructor, which was great. Um, and I and I just really loved it so much. And then within the Scottsdale area, we had a couple of jazzercise studios that weren't going to continue running. And so it was at that point as an instructor, I was sort of like, well, where am I going to teach and what am I going to do? I got certified. I want to do this and I want to share the program with yeah. more people. We had a pretty nice little following already in the Scottsdale area, instructor wise and customer wise. So we started with that group. Okay. And then I opened the studio in 2019. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, who would have known what was to come? Nobody, unfortunately. Yeah. But we did. And um, we have a really strong core community already group of people there so we just started up and uh and i've been running the studio ever since so so you all which i thought was really neat like you mentioned you started this in 2019 yep. right like right before the pandemic Six months before okay yeah. <laughs> so like any new business owner that time yeah, yeah. <laughs> done had to shut down and stuff like that yep. you got creative though yep and you immediately started online yep. live online classes we did. We and you did. are still continuing this tell we me a little are. bit about that yes and i am uh, very much not a tech savvy person <laughs> but had to learn on the fly very quickly how to incorporate um you know some changes really quickly yeah. in order to save the studio and and keep the business running and and i think more importantly just to keep people connected mm -hmm. with us with each other um, and just kind of moving forward on on a positive path which was really tough during that time you know so we actually never really shut down ever that's um, fantastic we switched very quickly to online had some challenges but got through it together we all learned a lot yeah you know? and then um, fortunately we live in such a beautiful area we were able to transition to outdoor classes so that was oh, nice. So we did a lot of outdoor classes. If you ever drive through that, uh, through the EOS parking lot there by Butters and all of that, you would see us out there every morning, just music rocking, dancing on the sidewalk. What a joy time. to see that though, yeah. like coming in that yeah. morning. It's How so fun. funny. People would come by and like honk their horn and wave, you know, like, good job, <laughs> you know. So whenever everything was just kind of like, felt really desolate during that time yeah. the businesses were shut down, you know, so we would just take it out on the sidewalk and do our thing. That's fantastic. Yep. What I love about it too is you know everybody's name. Yep. I would come into class, you knew who your ladies were, including yep. online, yep. right? I talked to some of your, you know, uh, participants that came in and they're like, sometimes it's Monday morning and I just don't feel like getting in the car. But yep. she's like, I never miss a workout yep. with Sherry. I have the best time. I'll do it at home. And I 
feel invigorated and I'm excited to go. And then she, this one lady was like, but then I kind of miss, like, why didn't I go in? Like, yeah. I miss being with the people. Mm -hmm. I think it's great that you really are incorporating everyone, no matter where they're at, you can go. Mm -hmm. If you're on vacation, we can still log in. Yeah. You uh, talk to me about, you knew that you wanted a place, you were kind of thankful that you only got a smaller space because of the pandemic yeah. and everything, yeah. but you can fit a lot in a little space yeah. and you make it work. We do, we do. I say, you know, uh, really good things come in small packages sometimes. Yeah. And, and I think we've got a really good thing going on with our studio there. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the difference between a jazzer size and like a Zumba class or something like that. Yep, yeah. so Zumba is gonna be a little bit more of a freestyle flowing kind of dance movement um, with a little bit more of a Latin base to uh, it okay. predominantly where jazzercise um, music, the music is really what we're all about. Okay. We, we have all different genres, all styles of yep. music, right? And it ranges. Um, but we keep it really fresh and really current as well. Like top 40 is always in our sets, yep. always. Um, with the occasional, you know, fan favorite throwbacks that always are going to just get somebody's heart pumping when they hear that certain song that they love, yeah. you know? So I think for us, it's just about that. And then just the structure of the program. Jazzercise is a very structured program for us as instructors we have formats that we follow on putting our sets together and things like that. Okay. So, for instance, you know, we have 10 instructors on our team and with all the different classes, you'll show up and you may hear that one favorite song you love. It's going to be the same routine by every instructor for that particular song. Okay. So we have a Good really structured know. format that we follow, um, which is something that makes the customers feel really successful in our program over the years because they can really step into any class or any jazzercise studio and um, get a similar feel and a similar vibe. And all of a sudden that one comes on, they're like, oh, I know this one or, you know, just have that familiar feeling. Are you, so you're not the one that's making up dance routines at home? No, 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 no. <laughs> We are not making up dance routines at home. Jazzercise, again, is a very structured that's good to know. franchise business. They, you know, we get about uh, five sets of music per year. Okay. Which will have about 30 songs per set and routines. And we don't have to learn all of those. But we, you know, we all, the, the good thing about Jazzercise is, um, with the variety of instructors we have, we all kind of lean towards certain feels to our music uh -huh. and what we like. So you'll get a little bit of a different feel from each of us and different songs, you know, put together and things like that. But the routines are all the same though, consistently throughout. That's, I didn't know that, okay. With each song, but there's so many like, <laughs> You know, there's a lot to choose from. Are you like in the car sometimes and the song comes on and you'll start dancing and every doing day. the routine? Every, every day. <laughs> so the car is where I practice for my routine. So if um, we see you down Scottsdale. My, yeah. <laughs> you ever see me driving around and bouncing around, that's what I'm doing is practicing my set. Uh, my husband always teases me because we go out when we go out to eat. Mm -hmm. Like music in the background i'll start like moving a little bit and he's like let me guess you have a routine to this and i'm like of course we do he's like is there anything you don't have a routine to i'm like not much yeah <laughs> really yeah. um i want to talk a little bit be jazzercise like you said it's been around for 50 years i know that i kind of had this misconceived preconception about it and stuff like that yeah you can go in at any age yes yeah, absolutely and i talk yeah. a little bit about this it's not what everyone thinks it is it's so much fun. I yeah. really highly encourage you to go. <laughs> I, it, it is funny because, yes, we always deal with the, um, when I meet people for the first time, oftentimes I get that reaction when I, you know, I'm very proud to be a Jazzercise instructor. Mm -hmm. I'm super proud of our program because I know what it is, what it does, and how helpful it is for so many people. But when I say I'm a Jazzercise instructor or I own a Jazzercise studio, the number one response ever is Jazzercise. They still do that? Yeah. Like that's what we get. They, that's still around? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's still around. It has withstood the test of time throughout all of the other um, like boot Fads, fitness, yeah. uh, studios, if you will. Um, we were kind of the first as far as like a boutique fitness studio. And we're still doing it. And um, I and think your classes are full, Sherry. I yes, mean, <laughs> yes. I think people are often surprised when they come for the first time, much like I think you were. Because I saw the big smile on your face. I saw your eyes kind of light up and get a little bit big. And people are kind of like, "Wow, this is." I did. Really fun. I had so much fun. <laughs> yeah. And I think sometimes you're just surprised. And you know, we're not just 
messing around. We're getting a workout in too. Yeah. You know, there's a very, again, as I talked about the program, you know, the way we run our class is very structured from warming up your body properly to moving into kind of lighter routines in the beginning, hit heavy toward the center and then let that heart rate come down and let that metabolism rev up and getting to the strength work. So there, there's a lot behind what we're doing, mm -hmm. even though you come in and it really kind of feels like a dance party. Did you, know? you what, what was your mindset change? How did it change from just being a participant? Like, you know that it's working, you're yeah. feeling good, you know, kind of stuff like that. Yeah. But when you go and learn about it as an instructor, what did that change for you? So for me, it just became about having the time in my life to give back mm -hmm. to the program and, and be able to share it with more people. Like that was really, really huge for me um, on that side of things. On the other side of things, I would say it's a lot more work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more work. Like I study music pretty much every single day of my life wow. and, um, you know, put new sets together every single week yeah. and just always trying to keep it fresh and new for our customers and, and really help them just kind of grow and build and having to think a lot harder on um, the queuing. You know, the thing that was the hardest for me transitioning from customer to instructor was having to talk throughout the entire hour of teaching. Yes, because like I get out of breath taking your class. Yeah, you don't realize how much, you know, harder that is to speak during a whole class than to just work out during a whole class, you know? What yeah. has something that you've personally gained from Jazzercise over the decades? Oh gosh, just long-time friendships. Um, I would say probably just my friends, yeah. What's something a person like me or any new customer can come in and expect and what do you have, what would you like for them to have as their expectations to come in and gain from you? So I think the most awesome thing that I see happening in my studio um, when new people come in the door, I'm very welcoming, of course, as the instructor, you know, welcome. But even sometimes I'm running around and getting things ready and busy, busy, busy. And I'll, I'll just sometimes take a moment when I'm, when I'm up front before I start teaching class, looking out and seeing my customers approaching new people and welcoming them. And, and just, I think it's just the way that people feel when they come into the studio. Like our, our base is just so welcoming. And, yeah. And, um, there for everybody to have a good time, but also grow and be strong. And, you know, I, I think for us, it's the physical workout is a big piece of it, but the mental is, is, a, is a really big piece of it as well. It's just the feel good. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. And you're right. Your ladies come in there. Yeah. Gentlemen can go too. It's yeah, not just for can. ladies. Um, yeah. Everyone was like waiting outside for each other for one class to end and the next one to begin. Yeah. And they were asking how each other's doing and how their kids, like everyone just knew ever about, about yeah. each other, yourself included. You yeah. were talking to even people logged in online like, oh, hey, it's so good to see you. Have I hope you had a great weekend. It was just heartwarming. Yeah. And like some of these other really large gyms that you go into, yeah. no one knows your name. You scan yourself in. Yeah. It was not like that at all. Right. Very family oriented. It is for sure. Yeah. And that's why we really like to put ourselves out there just within the community. We call ourselves just a community. You yeah. Know? And, and it's just kind of about finding that people, that group of people that you feel comfortable uh, being with and working out with and just hanging out with. Honestly, we're really big on kind of get togethers. We always incorporate a workout though. It's never without a workout, yeah. but we do sometimes on the weekends, like on Saturdays, we'll do a bigger outdoor class. So for Super Bowl Sunday, we did like a Super Bowl party set, you know, and we did a tailgate party. And so everyone gets their workout, but gets to hang out and socialize a little bit, too, which is fun. I, I had the best time, <laughs> Sherry. I encourage everyone to go check out Jazzercise in North Scottsdale. It's right off the rain tree in North Sight Boulevard. Um, the encouragement, laughter, and fun I had working out with your ladies, it really just started my day off right. Awesome. It was Monday morning. I wasn't yeah. sure what to expect. And then I was, I was <laughs> laughing at myself because I have these ladies that are like three times my age and they're shaking it more than oh, I yeah. am. And they, they are getting, they are. Yeah. And it was just so encouraging. Yeah. And then everyone's laughing and yeah. just encouraging each other. Yeah. You have a great thing going on and you and your community you. is fantastic. Where can we find out more information and come try out a class with you? Yeah, so um, you can swing by the studio anytime. I've got a QR code right on the window there that'll pop our schedule up for you. Um, but you could just go to jazzercise.com. You would need to type in Scottsdale, Arizona. Our studio will pop up and everything will be online. The schedule, the pricing, anything you would need. Our contact information 
information, you'll reach out directly to me really through email or phone and I'm happy to talk you through it. But really it's just about, you know, just taking that first step and walking through the door. I think that's the scariest part for most people Yeah, is just walking in the door and kind of not knowing, you know, what to expect and, or feeling as if, oh, I haven't worked out in so long. I don't know if I can do it, you know, but we've got people in there as you, as you saw that work out at various levels. It's yeah. all about you do you. We'll take you through the steps, but you just get through it and do what you can do and start where you are and just get to moving. I promise, I promise, promise, <laughs> promise you'll have a good time when you walk in. And you really will. Like, you won't know what yeah. you're walking into, but I promise when you walk out, you'll have a smile on your face. Yeah. You'll be in a better mood, and it's just a great way to start your day. Yeah. Go check them out. I have the link in the description of this podcast, Jazzercise in North Scottsdale. Sherry, thank you so much thank for you. joining us and yeah. teaching us more about your small business here in Scottsdale. Thanks, Alicia. Thanks, Alicia.